Fred are brought to you by the Ashley Clinic in Chanute, Kansas. Oh, it's in the news again. A recall on what? Red eye medicine. Yes, eye drops that you use for red eyes can actually cause bacterial infection, according to the FDA. So you need to go to the FDA recall list to find out which types of brands of eye medicine might be a problem for you. And be sure you get them thrown out of your medicine cabinet. So what kind of eye drops were these for? Well, for red eye and irritation. And if you go to WebMD, they talk about irritation of the eyes from being dry, which adults often get because they don't make quite enough tears. You can have it from allergies as well. Very rarely do you really have enough red eye problem from infection like a conjunctivitis or pink eye to really require these types of drops. But oftentimes people use them for kids and think that they may help. Well, that's the problem right now. You may have an eye drop in your medicine cabinet that could cause a bacterial infection, and you might use it on your kid because you think it might help with that pink eye thing. Well, the important thing is look at that FDA recall list and know what it is that you are trying to get rid of in the first place, those red eye medicines. Then the next thing is if your child has pink eye or has any mattering or redness of the eye, if it's going on more than a few days, you need to call about it. Most of the time it is a pink eye conjunctivitis viral infection, but occasionally it can be something more serious and you don't want to miss that for your kids. So The important thing is keep it safe, check those recall lists periodically, and go to the Ashley Clinic YouTube channel for more Dr. Greta moments. Give that kid a hug.